Waves Lab Part 1 for Earth Space Science is to take a look at how the waves will react in a closed container. You can see the wave, um, you'll be able to see the wave between the blue colored water and the yellowish colored um, oil sitting at the top. So as we take the container and turn it on its side. I'm then going to take and hit the side over here. And as I hit the side, it's going to send energy through the container and you'll be able to see how the waves react and how the waves are created. Okay, so you get a little bit of a wave there. And then I'm gonna take and push it back and forth, and as I do that, you'll get a different idea of how the waves react. And finally, I'm going to take and tip it upside right quickly, and as I do that, you should be able to see waves settling as it um, sits upright. Notice you can see a crest and a trough. You can see the oil getting thicker and thinner in certain areas. Make sure you make your own observations and you also sketch out the drawing for this. Part two of the Waves Lab. Is to take a look at water in a container and how the waves within a semi-open container are going to react. So I'm going to move the container back and forth and you'll be able to see the waves being created along the line here. So as I do that, you can see some waves happening. Okay. Make sure you make your observations draw out a sketch for this and then for part the second part of part two make sure you do a compare and contrast data table that includes two similarities and two differences between the closed container in the uh, jar and the open container here with the waves being created The third part of the lab is going to be to look and see how different objects react in the wave, within the waves. So I'm going to place a ping pong ball in the center here that's going to uh, just float. And as I do that, I'm going to then take my, let me give you a little bit more of a full view here. get it cleared up all right now I'm going to take and move this so you can get the waves and watch how the ping pong ball, ping pong ball moves back and forth or within the waves themselves so how does the ping pong ball move within the waves now if I take from one side let this settle down if I take from one side and send energy just down to one side, what are we getting also to happen with the ping pong ball? Second thing I'm going to place in there, I'm going to, I'm going to pull you up to the top now, top view, and from there We're going to take a look at how the ping pong ball moves along with some pieces of paper floating in there. So how do these move along with the waves? And the energy moving. Finally, I'm going to put a paper clip in which is going to sink down to the bottom 
and make some observations on how that moves once I stop moving the container and it's just the waves moving. Okay, so how does something at the bottom react versus something sitting on the surface with the waves? Again, make sure you make some observations. Make sure you draw these and sketch these out as to what you actually saw. And um, then finally make your conclusions about what is going on here with the movement of the waves.